Hello Internet, it's your favorite YouTuber coming back at you again with another video. What are we playing today? Oh no. Ah, another beautiful day to start off another beautiful school year. I hope this year we don't have... <laughs> I hope this year I don't have to use my trademarked and utterly unique, unique catchphrase. Fidgety foo. Last year I had a new record of saying it 17 times. My wife was very angry. Stop swearing, she said. I said that I say fidgety foo more than 17 times this year. She'll divorce me. Hello, are you the new kid? Wait, did I just ask myself if I was the new kid? Okay. Ah, welcome. You must be the new kid, a.k.a. Student New Kid. That's not my name. Fidgety Foo. Oh. Oh, I am sorry. Sometimes I say that phrase when I'm angry or annoyed. There must have been an administration error at the school. Please let us know the name you'd like to be known as. You want to be known as Dank Spins 420 Yeah. Nice to meet you, Dink Spins420. Anyway, it's great to have you here at the Fidget Uber Class Key Spinning Skills for Adolescents, Kids, and Everyone Academy. Or... <laughs> just let... Let me just check in what class you're in. Oh, well that's interesting. You'll be in class F5. We're very lucky to have another new student starting that class as well. They're the first fidget spinner to ever study here. What? Did you just say one of the students is a fidget spinner? Uh, yeah, don't don't worry. You probably won't notice they're a fidget spinner. They blend in very easily. Yeah, look at all that blending. Uh, hello, is this class F5? Yeah, it is. You must be the new kid. That's right. I'm Dank Spins 420. Wow, I can't believe one of the students is a fidget spinner. I can't tell which one. I think it's the one on the left. I'm Clooney, classmate. I'm Dick Dancer. No reason why. Hi, I'm Fidgy. The Fid... I mean, I'm a normal human. I'm definitely not a kid's toy. Alright, students, calm down and let's get studying. Today you'll be studying angular momentum. Does anybody know what that means? Oh, I know. Angular momentum measures how fast things are rotating. That's right, Clooney. It measures stuff that rotates, and I know one of you has a lot of experience with this. I think it's me. Am I right, Fitch? No, it's me. I'm the rotation one. Hey, Dink Spins 420. What are you doing? I'm just about to go home. Why? Well, do you mind walking home with me? I don't know anyone else, and I'm kind of scared walking home in a new neighborhood. Oh, sure, that's fine. I'm happy to help. Thanks, Tink Spins. It's this way. Hmm, there's something different about Fiji, but I can't put my finger on it. Let's go! Maybe we'll learn more about her on the way home. So, you probably already realize I'm a fidget spinner. Ah, who would have guessed it? Now that you mentioned it, I was wondering where her arms were. I know what you think. I'm a freak. I can never make friends at school. That's why I have to move around so much. Move around? <laughs> you mean that's why you spin around during break times? No, I just... <laughs> I just enjoy spinning. I meant moving houses. Right. Gotcha. And the more I move, the more people realize I'm a fidget spinner and want to play with me. It's a never-ending cycle. Never-ending cycle? You mean you can't stop spinning? No. I can stop spinning whenever I want. I'm just so lonely. That's why I was wondering. 
Would you like to go to the school trip with me? You mean the cruise around the ocean? That's right. I don't know anyone else. You promise you'll go with me, right? Okay, sure. I'll go. Thanks, Dink Spins 420. It means a lot. Fidgy isn't like the other fidget spinners I know. James and Conrad. She's fun, sensitive and girly. And she spins around. Right round, baby. Right round. I should tell her how unique and special she is. Fidgy. Hey, look. A giant fidget spinner. Let's catch it. Oh no, children. I better run. Quick, after it! They run off into the distance before you can make up your mind whether to follow them. They're gone. You decide to tell her how you feel tomorrow. Hey! Where's Fishy? She's not in class. Please calm down, class, while I introduce our newest student. Now, I know a lot of you were surprised when Fiji turned out to be a fidget spinner, but I can guarantee this next student is definitely a human. Please put your hands together for Yo-Yo Jones. Hey, what's up? I'm Yo-Yo, but you can call me Yo. Huh? Who's that beautiful boy in the back row? Is she staring at me? Now, she couldn't be looking at me, right? Wow. He's so dreamy. You could sit next to me, Dink Spins 420. Yo-Yo. Yay! But miss, that's where Fidgy sits. Fidgy? You mean... Fidgy? You mean the fidget spinner? Now that you mention it, why isn't she in class yet? She might get in trouble. Can I go look for her? Oh, that, was, that was the wrong voice. Hmm, alright, but be quick. I hope Fidgy is alright. Huh? I hear voices coming from the hall. I don't care what people say about you. You're beautiful. Looking at you makes me feel tizzy. Dick, that's so nice. No one's ever said that about me before. I don't know what to say. Say you'll go on the school trip with me. Say you'll promise. But Dick, there's someone else. You already have a boyfriend? Not really. Then there's no problem. Should I do something? Bust in and talk to Fiji. Hey Fiji, thanks Spins 420, what are you d d doing here? Teacher sent me to see why you're not in class. What are you two doing? I was just asking Fiji why she was late for school too. You look at Dick Dancer, and then Fidgy. Is that really what he was doing, Fidgy? Just seeing why you were late for class? Yeah, that is all we were talking about. I'm sorry for being late. I will go to class now. You shouldn't be so, you shouldn't be so clingy to Fidgy. She has her own life, you know. She'd be happier if you spent less time with her. Yeah? Then why do you spend so much time with her? She likes me. Why do you keep following her around? It's creepy. Me? I don't follow her around. You're crazy. You stalk her, and it's upsetting her. Stay away from us. Hmm. Is that the principal over there? Oh, fidgety foo. The washing machines aren't working. Oh no, what am I gonna do? There are 60 bo- Whoa. 
What? There are 60 boys sitting naked waiting for me to wash their clothes after their sports lessons. If I can't find some way to wash their clothes, imagine what will happen. I'm having a panic attack. I gotta go find some way to get these washing machines working. Hi, Principal. Is something wrong? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. You're friends with Fiji, right? Uh, sorta. Of. Can you get her for me? I need a washing machine fixed. Stat! Surely she can spin around and wash some clothes for me, right? Uh, maybe. But, you know, she's kinda mean. I'm not sure she'd do it. Really? But she's so nice and friendly. You really think she wouldn't wash some clothes for me? Absolutely not. The more I see Fiji, the more I realize how selfish she is. In that case, I'm still in trouble. How am I going to wash all these clothes? Let me fix the washing machine. I could do it faster and safer than Fiji ever could. Well, if you insist, the washing machine is in the other side of the school. There might be some junk nearby that can help you. Okay, all I need to do is fix this washing machine. Not a big deal, right? Fiji's not so special. Anything she could do, I can do for myself faster. Better. Stronger. I could spin 20 miles an hour. Now let's see, there's a lot of junk around here. How should I start spinning stuff around? I think the old plane propeller. Yeah, that'll work nicely. What should I use to power it? I think a lemon. Yeah. It was in a movie once. You just connect the lemon to some wires and, uh, yeah. What else do we need? Plug that shit into the wall. Shortly before passing out, you hear a big boom. I think the patient is waking up. Hello? Can you hear me? You've been in a terrible accident. An explosion from a makeshift washing machine. Can you tell me your name? Dink Spin. It's 420. Excellent. Nurse, note that down. Patient is awake and speaking. Can you open your eyes? Excellent. You seem to be getting better very quickly. Uh, you might be able to leave here very soon, but first let me ask you some questions to make sure you're okay. This is called a Rorschach test. I will show you an image, and you will just have to say the first thing you think of. What do you think of this image? I... <laughs> What am I doing with my life? How about this image? I think it is a fidget spinner floating in the ocean. One more image. Fidget spinners! I think I understand you deeply. You are a mentally unstable, deranged person who's obsessed with fidget spinners. I think you need treatment. What kind of treatment, doc? You need to be treated like my special patients by being thrown into the burning fire of my furnace. If you survive, it shows you're flame-proof and hence must be killed by drowning. No, Doc, I'm not ill. You gotta let me go. Stop trying to save yourself, you deranged lunatic. And get in the fire. No! Object spin. Stop right there, Doc. The only one going into the flame stay will be you! No! Defeated by fidget spinners again! Are you okay, Dink Spins 420? But how did you know I was here? You've been missing for 60 days. At first I thought you just disappeared on your own. And maybe once in time alone or something. But then you didn't come to our school trip. And I knew something was wrong because you promised you'd be there. So I came to find you. That doesn't really explain what, how you knew I was here, but anyway. Everyone's waiting for us. What are you talking about? On school trip, silly. You're still coming? I've been kidnapped for 60 days and almost thrown into a furnace and you want me to go on a school trip? Is that a yes? It's a yes, it has to be. 
You promised. You promised. I guess I can go to the school trip. What's the worst that could happen? And so you go on the school trip, which begins with the maiden voyage into the newest, biggest ship in the world, said to be on Sao God. I do this for you. So, the TIE Spintanic is the first ship powered by fidget spinners? Yes, that's right. Finally, something I might be useful for. Hey, Vision, can we... What are you doing here? Surprised, are you? Well, yeah, you've been missing for 60 days. 60, mixty, no big deal. He's so dreamy. I'm only here because Fiji asked me specifically. Yeah, about that. What, you don't want me here? Of course I do, I mean, we promised. I just don't want you getting any weird ideas. We're just friends, all right? Ha ha, yep, good old friends. Come on, Fiji, let's, let me show you how the fidget spinners power the ship. Ooh, yay. Dick Dancer leaves with his arm around Fiji and a stupid grin on his face. It looks like you'll be single on this school trip. Ah, uh, whatever, doesn't bother me. You know, I've been watching you from afar. Really? I don't think I care. You're very handsome, very macho. I like that. Ah, thanks, whatever. You know, there's something different about Yo-Yo Jones, but I can't put my finger on it. I can't flick it and spin it. I may have to drop it and pick it back up. Maybe I'll learn more about her while talking to her right now. You probably already know this, but I'm actually a yo-yo. Oh! Now that you mention it, I was wondering where her arms, legs, and body were. I think we should start dating, do you agree? If you say no, I'm going to kiss you anyway. Come see this. Oh, you're kissing a yo-yo. I didn't know you felt that way about kids' toys. Fidgy, it's not like that. What, what was that? Did we just crash into something? Oh no. Dick Dancer is still on the edge of the ship. Fidgy, no, don't go, it's too dangerous. Ah, the boat is shaking again. I gotta go see Fidgy. Fidgy. What happened to Fitch? I was knocked over the edge. Just before I fell in, Fiji grabbed me and helped me back up. I was climbing on board when the shake too happened. I grabbed her arm and she... Fiji, she, I pulled her over the edge. She's in the water? Fiji, can you hear me? I can't see her. She must be somewhere underwater. Oh no, what have I done? I don't deserve to be alive. She's gone, Dink spins 420. It was only a matter of time till she drowns, freezes, or is sucked up by the propellers. It's worse than that, Yo-Yo. Even if we save Fiji somehow, we've crashed into an iceberg. The whole ship is sinking. We only have a minute before we're underwater. Fidgety foo. As their friend sinks deeper beneath the waves, the ship slowly sinks down too. Will they be able to escape alive? And if they survive, will they be able to tell each other how they feel? Find out next time on Data Fidget Spinner 2. To be continued. The end! Please send help. I need help.